Okay, refractions of sound, uh, refractions of sound wave. Uh, for refractions of sound wave, you need to know the two experiment. Okay, so we do these experiments. We have these uh, speakers here, and then this uh, audio signal generator, and it will produce a sound wave. And then so we have this uh, microphone here to detect the sound wave connected to the cathode ray oscilloscopes. Okay, it shows the waveforms eh, of the wave producer. And then uh, in between the speakers and this microphone, we put the balloons. And take notes that the balloons of the, sh the shape of the balloons uh, is like the con uh, uh, convex lens. Uh. It's like a convex lens. Okay, convex lens. Uh. And then uh, uh, the first experiments, we fill the balloon with uh, carbon dioxide gas. Okay, and then the result. We found that with the balloons, uh, with the balloons, the amplitude of the sound increases compared to without balloons. If there's no balloons, uh, this is a result. If with the presence of the balloons are uh, filled with carbon dioxide gas, uh, the amplitude increase. Uh, it looks very weird because the balloon, suppose a balloon has blocked, has blocked the sound wave. But after that, we found that the amplitude of the wave become higher means that the sound become louder, okay? So the amplitude of the sound increases. Eh? Um, so this can be explained by the refractions of light, eh? refractions of the light. Okay, explanations. Uh, that is because uh, carbon dioxide is denser than the air, okay? It's denser than the air. So when the wave move into this uh, carbon dioxide gas, eh? the speech change. Actually, when it move into the carbon dioxide gas, it move faster, okay? So the sound wave is refracted, approaching the normal when the wave propagates uh, the air into the balloon, away from the normal when moving out from the balloons, eh? okay? So move into the balloons, it move uh, approaching the normal, come out, it move away from the normal, and as a result, eh? as a result, the the sound wave is converged. The sound wave is converged. If the sound wave is, is converged to a smaller area, so uh, the amplitudes will uh, become higher. So the microphone detect a higher amplitude of the sound. The second experiment, now this time we fill it with helium gas, and then we found that the result is different. With the balloons, the amplitude become lower. Just now carbon dioxide with the balloons, the amplitude is higher, right? Okay, and this one, if we, we fill the balloon with helium gas, then uh, the amplitude become lower. Uh, that is because helium is less dense compared to the air. And when it's less dense compared to the air, um, when it go into the balloon, uh, it will be refracted away from the normal. And when it come out from the balloons, it will be closer to the normal. Okay, and uh, as a result, as a result, eh, uh, the wave is diverged, diverged to a wider area. And when it's diverged to the wider area, uh, the energies of the wave will reduce, eh, okay, because it's shared by the wider area. And as a result, the amplitude will decrease. And uh, the last thing is the phenomena eh, of uh, sound wave. Sound of a distant train is louder at night. If you stay near to uh, these uh, railways, eh, okay, you will find that at day times, okay, the the sound from the train is not so loud, but at night is very loud. Why? Okay, the explanations. Okay, the speed of the sound is affected by the temperature. Okay, speed of the sound is affected by the temperature. If the air is cool the speed of the sound will be lower. It will move slower, okay? But if the air is hot, then the, the sound will move faster. So sound move faster in a high temperature air and move slower in a low temperature air, okay? And uh, at night, the ground is cool, okay? But the air uh, can be still warmed due to the different uh, specific heat capacity, yeah? Okay, and as a result, uh, at the warm air, the, the, the wave move faster. The wave move faster, and here the wave move slower. 
and uh, this caused the, uh, the the sound wave refracted okay and if the wave is refracted then it will converge okay it's converge huh? if you stay here then we, you will hear a louder sound at night huh? at daytime at daytimes the wave is spread the wave huh, will be sp spread to a wider area okay it's spread to a wider area so therefore uh, the amplitude of the sound wave reach here is very low okay so the sound is not so loud but at night uh, due to the refractions of the sound wave eh, okay the wave is converged here and therefore you can hear a very loud sound let's see the explanations eh? okay so at night the air closer to the ground is cooler than the air further from the ground the sound wave travels slower in cool air and uh, as a result the sound wave is refracted okay so therefore it converts eh, to the observers 